Welcome to Mini Stories, where we will be listening to Reddit stories. Me, 25 male with my wife, 23 female, she informs me at sister's wedding she had slept with best man. Update 2. I have been absolutely overwhelmed by the responses I have received over this. I have gotten over 400 private messages and I just cannot respond to all of them or any of them anymore, as it would take me a week to do that. I want to thank all of you who have written to me and those of you who this struck a chord with all I can say is that I'm sorry you had to go through this as well. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I do want to say one thing though as the vast majority of the people contacting me via PM were all afraid to bring up their point of view in the open for fear of being harassed. I have honestly taken both points of view into consideration and there has been some great advice and some not so great, but I think people's hearts are in the right place. I just wish that if people disagreed with each other, they wouldn't feel the need to demonize a person because of a point of view. Okay, for the hundreds of you that have been clamoring for an update, here it is. As you know, I asked to just drop it till last night so I could focus on a job-related item I had to get done. She kept her word about it, but I could tell she was very emotional and honestly nervous. She is taking some strong benzodiazepines for her anxiety, but even as strong as it is I can still see how anxious she had been. I wasn't intentionally trying to punish her, in fact quite the opposite I really was trying to give her a break as much as me, but she told me last night that not holding her or showing any real affection towards her was almost torture to her. Well last night finally arrived and we had what my dad always called a come to Jesus meeting. I got home from work and I brought dinner so there would be no distractions of cleanup or anything. We started talking around 6 and finally ended around 2-ish. In that time frame we laid out a lot of issues that have been present and what or if we are both willing to do to move forward. Long story short starting today I am living with my brother for the next few, not sure. She is understandably upset by all of this and I am making an effort to communicate openly with her so she does not feel abandoned or neglected. If you're wondering how we got from talking to me living with my brother here it is in a nutshell. I know this is not going to make several of you very happy, but here is where I am going with this. I want to save my marriage, but I can't do it living what I feel was somewhat a lie. I know she never intended to lie once we were married, but when I sat down and thought about this one question, would I have stayed with her if I had known at the time she did this? Each and every time I answered, no. So to me she took away my ability to choose whether or not I wanted to continue and we built the next few years based on the foundation of something that wasn't quite true. However, the truth is, we still built something. Sometimes foundations can be repaired and sometimes you have to tear them down to build new on. This is what I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping to shake things up enough for both of us so that we can start over. Like I said in the very first post, our marriage until this point had been what I would consider to be perfect or as perfect as any one thing can be. But there were some very troubling things that occurred due to this and here is a brief synopsis of our talk. I laid out the fact that while I absolutely was upset about the cheating and yes, I still consider it cheating, which she has now come to realize that this is the way it is and is going to be considered. I was equally upset by her lack of consideration for my feelings on this. I told her that I resented being told I was immature and a child for something that objectively speaking I had every right to be upset about. Her response was to apologize and tell me she was in the wrong and that while she admits fault and sees what I'm saying that at the time she had convinced herself that because we were married, that I was wrong to be upset about something that happened beforehand, but she now sees where this is wrong. I then told her that I felt very disrespected by her associating with this guy right in front of me and that I felt humiliated, having to shake his hand. Her response was to once again apologize and she said, that in her mind at the time she felt like she was trying to show me that there was nothing there. She said she felt like if she avoided him or acted shady around him that I would be more upset. I told her she was wrong. She said that out of all of the things this is the one that has hit her the most in the face. Because even her sister has told her how poor this was for her to do to me and she was deeply hurt by this. Because it had hurt me which she never wanted to do. I then talked about her lack of remorse over being with someone else while we were together. Her only response was to say that she was very sorry. How that at the time she just used very poor judgment and if she could go back and change the past she would. Then came the talk that got the most discussion. How I felt like she really wasn't sorry for anything but that she was just sorry that I didn't just shrug my shoulders and say that everything was going to be okay. That there were going to be repercussions for what I considered to be an act of betrayal and then an act of not caring about me. I'll give her full credit here. 
She was brutally honest about this and at least she was so we didn't have to spend hours trying to work our way around it. She admitted that when we got home after the event she started to realize that I wasn't going to let this go. And then as time went on she knew that this was an issue. Her first instinct was to be mad at me for being mad at her. But then realized even from her own point of view how stupid that was. But again she had it beat into her head that she was my wife and that I should easily forgive and forget something that happened way before we were married. She also admitted that when it became real she frankly outright panicked thinking about losing her marriage. Nobody on either side of her family is divorced so she could be the first and she admitted to that being a big factor in her panic attack. But as the week has progressed and she has spoken more to her family she is seeing that what she has put in her mind about marriage isn't the end all be all she thought it was. She also did really feel bad about bringing the guy around to me. However you will notice, which I did too, that she never said she felt guilty about being with him. Now I want everyone to know this as well. What I have given you from above is a brief synopsis of events. She sounds like a robot in this version and believe me she was not. There were lots of tears, real honest tears, I've seen her, oh whoa, as me tears before so I know the difference. There were a few curse words and there were even moments of pleading and begging. As I said this went on for 8-ish hours so by the time we were done she was physically exhausted. I have set out the following steps if we are to reconcile and it is totally up to her if she wants to stay together. She is very very adamant about staying together by the way. I don't care how illogical it seems she is to never have contact with him again. This is an absolute for me and a deal breaker and I was absolutely clear on this. We have to have couples therapy. While I am living with my brother we are still legally married and this is not an invitation or excuse for either of us to see anyone else. Again deal breaker in a second if either of us uses this as an excuse, believe me I will not and I don't believe she will either. We start over, to a point. I have to view her differently now, even if I didn't want to I can't just forget that she chose to cheat. So that's where we are now. I know that is not what some of you wanted but ultimately I have to go with what I believe will make me happiest in the long run. My head says be aware and I am going to guard my heart for a long time but my heart is still in love with her. We are going out on a date Friday night, which she is really looking forward to. I have no idea how long I will be with my brother, hell I may not make it past Friday, but if nothing else I feel like I have some control here which I felt prior to the talk I had almost none. In the end I held her for a long time and we slept together. I do not want a broken woman, right now that is kind of what she is. I want her to be my partner for life, but I do want her to know that to be a partner she has to equally care about my feelings, as I do hers. P.S. I had to do some real hard thinking about my new brother-in-law. Again I've only met him a few times and he seems like a nice enough guy, but at the end of it all he certainly was aware of the issue. But just to keep peace in the family I'm going to not make a stink about him because that will certainly make every holiday tough going forward. As long as he never mentions the incident or the guy ever again to or around me I can live with it. Edit. I poo poo you not. This post has been up for 40 minutes and I've received 21 comments. But I've gotten already 28 PMs I think it's just sad. That people feel so intimidated by the group think that they won't post their views publicly. I am happy to get the advice and words of support but really nobody should be afraid to speak their mind. Additional relevant comment from OP. Sorry I guess I kind of forgot to address this. It's not going to make anyone happy, but here goes. The truth is she knew perfectly well that what she did was cheating. She has never denied that. However, what she did do was think that being married was like crossing the finishing line and that basically she got by with it. She hid it because she knew if I knew it would be over. However, where her shock was that if I knew it after being married that I would still think of it as a big deal and ultimately could end the marriage. I'm not sure if I was plain enough, so let me rephrase. She damn well knew it was wrong and that it would have ended us if I ever found out about it. However, she thought that repercussion ended when we got married. She genuinely was shocked that I still was counting it as cheating because it did not happen in the confines of holy matrimony. Yes, believe it or not, even though she did this and has some other issues that would make you scratch your head she is devoutly Christian. As you can tell I am not. So while I think it's a crock of shit, there is a very certain religious aspect into what she sees as marriage. Thanks for watching. If you like this video like, comment, share, and subscribe.